Hello and welcome to my channel, and if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso, and I'm a studio associate professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe. And here I am going to show you how to use Adobe Acrobat Pro specifically for reducing file size but retaining as much quality as possible. I know it's a little bit different than different topic than I'm usually looking at, no Grasshopper or Rhino or 3D rendering, but Adobe Acrobat, and I think this is an important topic. So you might be trying to email a file and it's too large for email, or you're giving a presentation and you want your PDF to load quickly, but still have high quality, and you can do that in two ways. We can print and when we print to a PDF you know some of you might be saying well my file is already a PDF but printing to a PDF actually flattens the PDF and reduces the file size and we can look at settings to retain quality so that's one way printing to a PDF the second way is compressing a PDF and we have to look at some settings there as well so that we can retain as much quality as possible before we jump into the video I'd like you guys to remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So go ahead and click on subscribe. And once you click on subscribe, go ahead and click on the little bell so you receive notifications on when I'm making videos. I have all kinds of videos here from now Adobe Acrobat to Rhino to Grasshopper to 3DS Max and Revit. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso, and see what I'm up to, see what tutorials I have coming out, see what me and my students are up to. All right, let's get back into Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I'm going to open a file that's not too large. It's only about 5.2 megabytes. It has 11 pages in it. So let's see what we can do here. So it has some, some standard text pages. And it also has some graphics, not too intense on the graphics. So let's look at reducing this file the first way, which is actually just going ahead and printing it to an Adobe PDF. So that's the printer that I'm selecting, is the Adobe P PDF. And I'm printing this to a paper size, which is 8.5 by 11, which is that's the default when you go to print an Adobe PDF so that's going to reduce that file size down to eight and a half by eleven I'm going to choose fit so that it actually fits on the eight and a half by eleven and let's go ahead it's, it's pretty much that simple for this first step so we'll go ahead and click the print button and it's going to ask me if I want to save this so I'm going to save it now it's very important that you save as, that you don't overwrite your original file. So I'm going to call this one flat. This is my flattened version. And it's going to go ahead and see it's flattening those, those pages. Okay, and then it's going to open that up. Before we look a little closer at this, let's go and look at the file size. Okay, so we started at 5.2 megabytes. And we're down to 3.1. So that's 2 megabytes that we've, we've actually reduced. And on a larger file size, that would be exponential. So pretty good there. Let's take a look at the kind of quality. So I think if we look at this page for, for both of those, okay? So, you know, at this, at, you know, this actual size, I believe I'm at, if I, if I right-click and choose my marquee zoom, and I choose... Uh, okay, so this is fit width. Let's go with that. Just to get these around the same size. So right-clicking, choose my marquee zoom. And I'm going to change that to fit width. Okay. So not too much difference that I can really see here. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and zoom in to both of those. So zoom in. Can't really get the same, the same zoom. Okay. So that's that's pretty good I'm not really losing quality there so I'm I'm happy with that so this is the original and this is the flat Let's zoom out just a tad here okay 
So that's the original, that's the flat. Okay, so that, that certainly works. And if that is if that file size is low enough for you, then you're you're good to go. Now another way to do this is through compressing it. And if I go over to my main main menu file, I can choose compress PDF, and that's just gonna compress it down. And it's gonna be pretty low quality. So let's let's look at that. Let's go ahead and and compress that. Okay, I'm going to call this compress. I'll call it compress one because I'm going to do another example as well. So I'm going to go ahead and compress that. Okay, so it says successfully compressed PDF size from 5.16 megabytes to 615 kilobytes. Super tiny, not even a megabyte but what you know what have we lost so it uh this file is automatically open this compressed one and we can see right there that we've lost quite a bit of quality there uh we don't even have to look much closer than that so what do we do we have to make some some changes so i'm going to close that one and open up my my original file here okay so we're going to look at some settings so we're going to go over to the tools tab here and it's one of these tools that doesn't show up I'm gonna to have to do a search I mean, it shows up somewhere but it's it's kind of hidden out of the way I'm not sure why but it is okay so here's our optimized PDF this is this is the tool that we want to use okay so now I just I quickly double clicked on that and uh, see it's it's in this tool mode and there's an advanced optimization. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here what I'm going to do is set the quality for these to maximum. Okay, and the default is not. It just remembers the last time I was in here uh, making some changes. So I'm setting that quality to maximum for those two locations. And so that was color images, grayscale, and now monochrome images that by default was lossy lossy means you lose quality you lose quality we want lost lists we don't want to lose any quality there so let's go ahead and click OK we'll call this compress 2 and let's see what we have there okay this that way it doesn't automatically open it up but it is it is this file so this if I hover over this if I close this toolbar out this is my compressed to file so this is the file we're looking at so let's go ahead and, and uh, zoom in a little bit closer okay so uh, I'm sure we've lost a little bit of quality and we can look at just opening the original zoom into that one bring out my marquee zoom okay so this is the compressed and this is the original so you see we've lost some quality but uh, again we're trying to retain as much quality as possible we're down to a file size of about 1.2 megabytes. So again, if you imagine these large file sizes, large PDFs, I mean, I've made PDFs, they're 500 megabytes, you know, 700 megabytes. So if I can get those down to 30 megabytes, that's a big deal for me and still retain as much quality as possible. All right, so that's all I wanted to cover in this quick video on Adobe Acrobat Pro. If you like this video, Go ahead and give me a like below. Make some comments. Maybe you have some better ways of doing this. I'd love to hear from you. Um, so we'll see you next time.